here we have a pretty complicated looking rational equation and we want to solve this for x. There are a couple of different ways to approach this. I'll show you the way that I like, um, but for any way that you approach this, the first thing to do is to check and see if there are any excluded values. The idea here is that the denominators can't be zero. You can't divide by zero. So if I put in a negative two here, this would come out to zero. And let's see, and oh, same thing in this one. If I put in a negative two, negative two times three is negative six plus six would be zero. So I'm just going to make a note for myself up here that x does not equal negative two. So in case I would get this as a solution, I'd know it, it's not a valid solution. All right, so that's the first step with a rational equation to see if there are any excluded values that make the denominators zero. Next, I think what I'd like to do is take this chunk and get it over here and see if I can simplify the fractional parts first. So I'm going to add 4 over 3x plus 6 to both sides. That's going to cause it to go away here and to show up over here. So let me rewrite this. So 6 over x plus 2 plus 4 over 3x plus 6. And that equals 2 now. So what I'm going to try to do is get common denominators on these fractions and do the addition first and take it from there. One thing I notice is that I could um, factor the bottom of this equation. So let's do that. Um, so I'll have 6 over x plus 2 here, and I'll have 4 over, I'm going to factor out a 3, 3 times x plus 2. And that's helpful because it looks like the only thing I'd have to do, oops, I don't know why I wrote a 6 there. This should be a 2. The only thing I have to do to get common denominators now is to multiply this a fraction by 3 over 3. So we'll do that. Okay, so let's rewrite this. So 3 times 6 is 18, just multiplying across the top here. And then on the bottom, I'll just write it as 3 times x plus 2. And here we have 4 over 3 times x plus 2. And that all equals 2. Well, we have common denominators, so we can do the addition. 18 plus 4, let's make that look like a 4 better. All right, 18 plus 4 is 22. So I've got, I'll write it over here, 22 over 3 times x plus 2 equals 2. Now, to get rid of the fraction entirely, I could multiply both sides of this equation by the denominator here. So I'll multiply by 3 times x plus 2. and 3 times x plus 2. Over here, it cancels out, and I'm just left with 22. Over here, let's see, 2 times 3 is 6, so I'll distribute the 6 here. 6 times x is 6x, and 6 times 2 is 12. And then we want to get the x term alone, so we'll subtract 12 from both sides. And that's, I'm going to write it over here, 6x equals 10. And then we just divide by 6. And we get x is 10 6, which simplifies to 5 thirds. And then I need to just check back in with these excluded values. The excluded value, the only one I had was negative 2. This is not the excluded value. So this is a valid solution for this rational equation. So that is a little bit of work with uh, rational equations.